So I'm starting with this dish. It's inspired by a classic Iranian dish. It's chicken and walnut stew, right? Um, um, it's one good. of my favorite Thank dishes. Thank you. Yes, okay. <laughs> so we start over here. We have some uh, chicken that we've browned over right. here. And then I'm just going to soften and up some this onions. We dredge it in some flour. In flour. Um, again, we're, we're not really, really adding a lot of salt to this dish. Uh, we're really going to... What's this stuff? Th that is a like little a salt bit. Substitute? Yeah, that's a, it's it's a little bit of MSG, quite honestly, oh, which really? will give you sort of the uh, perception of salt, just a little well, bit. Oh, Doctor Ian. Well, MSG, but you got to be careful. <laughs> MSG actually gives great flavor to food. Yes. But you kind of want to stay away from too much MSG, even though the FDA says it's generally regarded as safe. Salt. Yes. There has been some conditions where MSG could be problematic. But yes. That's here here it is. Look, Doctor Ian. I'm that much. My... That much. <laughs> a fairy's dusting. Very, yeah, of dusting. It. Okay. Uh, also, without using salt, what I'm doing is adding some spices. So I have some cinnamon that I'm putting in here. Uh, some of my favorite aromatic spices. This is saffron. Mm, uh, that's saffron. in a little bit of white. White wine we right let there. it bloom in a little uh, bit of let it liquid. Bloom. Yeah. Uh, we start cooking this. Uh, then we're going to also add uh, some grated butternut squash. So some Yum. grated butternut squash. It's going to give it this sort of uh, perceived sweetness. Mm. Uh, a little bit of pomegranate molasses, which the DNA I results. love the flavor they, of pomegranate yeah, molasses. They yes. told me it's I needed, so good. Yes. They told me I needed antioxidants, right? Yes. Yeah. I should be yeah. mindful of. Yep. Well, I'm going to talk about that yeah, in a second. Go for it. Yeah. That's been doing her show. Yeah, no <laughs> worries. Okay. Uh, a little bit of chicken broth is going to go in there. Uh, and then my favorite part are these walnuts. So what I've done mm. is I've taken some of those walnuts. You toast I've, them and I've, grind I've them. I toasted them. I ground them up in the food processor. I'm going to add this to that mixture. Uh, the chicken's going to go back. Uh, into uh, a pan over here that's what basically is uh, the walnuts and everything simmering together. And you're and putting add, blueberries. I'm putting blueberries. It's not traditional, but it's antioxidants. Very uh, cool. And then the chicken goes into this stew. It's like a sweet, sour chicken. It's one of my favorite Low recipes. salt, high protein, low fat. We have our chicken and walnut stew. I'm going to pop behind yep. you guys over here. I'm going to sure. slide, slide over here. Okay. And uh, because I need more cruciferous vegetables, Dr. Ian, I have some cauliflower. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make cauliflower rice, basically. This is very popular now. And even the, the frozen food companies now are capitalizing on this. Exactly. Rice, vitamin rice, A. Rice, vegetables, and vegetable right. pastas. And vitamin all that. A, vitamin E, and your cauliflower along with spinach. Very good. Right. So what I'm done is I've just pulsed this cauliflower, uh, and then I'm just going to steam it so that it sort of looks like rice. You can call it rice. You can call it couscous. And this is a way for me to get my cruciferous vegetables, right, yes. that my uh, DNA test is telling me I need. I'm going to plate with this cauliflower uh, rice a little bit of this uh, chicken mm. and walnut stew. Again, so sweet and sour chicken, not a lot of salt, lots of antioxidants, uh, and cruciferous vegetables. So that's one dish. Okay. Right?